Now, as we are preparing for certified SVAC designer exam, CSD, a good point of starting the preparation is from the certification study guide. Uh, let's talk about how to use this certification study guide. This certification study guide is a quick reference point of your CSD exam. Uh, it is a 104 page outlet, but actually, um, we're just going to use it as a reference and for information only. Uh, first of all, what are the core materials that we need to study for CSD? If you go through this, uh, along with other information, it is available in here. We need to study actually ASHA handbook of application, fundamental and system and equipment. There is another handbook of representation that is not actually required. So in our lectures, we are going to briefly cover all the necessary parts which is relevant to exam regarding with these three handbooks. And there are secondary publications here. If you look at this, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 references, secondary references provided. Actually, you don't need all of them. We need actually RC 62.1, there'll be questions from here. We need ASHRAE standard 55, there will be questions from here. And we're going to need uh, 90.1 and another standard, there will be questions from here. Um, other standards are there, but it is actually uh, not necessary, not much questions will be coming from those sections. Now, if you proceed forward with this, uh, there is also codes, it is written there. Uh, we are not going to study them. Just a common understanding will be okay. And as you are an experienced engineer, you already have uh, some common features of these standards known. So you don't have to worry about this at all. Now section, it, the book is divided in section. Uh, it actually tried to guide you through the exam. And what it did is in the domain one, they divided some tasks. So ex questions will be coming from the task. And they actually tried to provide you the necessary study material, like task A, there'll be questions from here. So size and supply, return and exhaust duct. And they have provided like in from the fundamental, you have to study chapter 21, and you have to deeply understand the application handbook, chapter 46. Uh, like this manner, they have provided all the necessary references from where you need to study. So let's, Say here I have something open. This is the system and equipment handbook. So you don't have to study all the chapters from system and equipment, only the chapters which is written in here or mentioned in here that need to be studied. So we know we have narrowed down the focus. But if you go through this, all the chapter studying all the chapter is actually quite difficult and it is not actually necessary. Uh, we have summarized everything in a manner so that you already only study the things you, that need to be studied. If you study all the chapters as written in here, one by one, it is going to take years to finish. So that is not actually recommended, but it is here. It is written here. And another thing that is important for important from here is there are questions from here, right? So domain one, there are uh, sample questions, sample questions closely represent the main question. So it is not exactly replicate. <laughs> so it is a closely replicate. If you go through this, uh, you know how the questions are. Exactly these questions uh, pattern will be there, but um, question will be different, right? These are just for uh, your mock. So what I suggest before taking the preparation, as you are already experienced as back engineer, attempt this question. It doesn't matter how much you score, just try to attempt and see how much you can score, write it down and then go through our courses. And after finishing all the course and taking all the preparation, come here again and uh, take the exam again and see uh, how much you score this time. That is going to be um, helpful to track your uh, progress. We want to actually score at least 20% uh, at the beginning but at the end, we want to score like 90%. That is actually our target. Okay. These are actually uh, not necessary to go through everything. So 
only use this mock questions will be good enough avoid all the steps these are not actually helpful uh, question answer will be here so you can check up right okay now what is important appendix appendix is very important like for this whole guideline or certification study guide appendix is the most important part and the beginning from the beginning like from today as you are taking preparation you start memorizing this and start practicing this at least 60 percent questions will be coming from these calculations so these calculations formulas are very important uh, right study them if you're a mechanical engineer you know already how to do them if you are not from directly mechanical background like if you are from electrical engineering background uh, if you just study them uh, you can you know know how to use them there and actually there will be questions from here even though in the exam uh, the formulas will be given but in my experience that it, uh, that is not actually helpful you need to practice them, memorize them by heart, and you need to remember them all through your life as you are a SVAC designer. And after this, there is glossary. Try to go through the glossary and try to mark up um, the things that you don't know. So like blow down, if you don't know what is, what does it mean, just check it from here. Bypass factor is here. So you just have to go through this and uh, try yourself if you understand the meanings right so everything is in here so how to use this book or certificate study guide very simple um just use this mock actually nothing else so more questions are here for you to help you go through these mock questions here are the mock questions so after every domain there will be more question like Domain one have 40 mock questions. Uh, like domain three have another set of mock question. Around how much? 11. So try this mock question and appendix. Go through this appendix. Where is Yeah. This appendix you need to practice very well and go through this glossary that is how you're going to use this certificate study guide for now